Welcome to the University of Michigan Medical School Office of Research, Everything But the Science series, brought to you by the Grant Services and Analysis Office. These excerpts from our R01 Boot Camp Workshop are intended to assist faculty new to the NIH R series process think through best approaches to the administrative portions of grant submissions. We're going to be talking about letters. So letters of support are another way to highlight the environment that will contribute to your success. Uh, you may want to consider including letters of support from your chair, a close mentor, or colleagues that convey the structural support that U of M will provide for your study. And, but more importantly, you want to obtain enthusiastic letters of support from leadership in the organizations or communities necessary to conduct your study. Uh, this is a really strategic approach. So if you are recruiting subjects from a Native American reservation, getting a letter of support from one of the elders or tribe leaders at the reservation is a great idea. Uh, to let them know, to let the reviewers know that uh, your study population is, is really on board with the research that you're doing and invested in the research. So um, definitely have those letters of support available from any sort of uh, study populations that you will be um, collaborating with on research. Um, and then especially if there is a group or, uh, some, or some sort of assistance being provided, that you wouldn't typically have for your research. If you're getting samples run at Michigan State University, uh, make sure you have a letter of support from uh, the person there saying that they can't wait to run your samples and they, they are very excited about your research. So you want to use your letters of support to demonstrate that you have um, the support and the enthusiasm for your research and that you also have um, leadership and collegial support um, around you to be able to accomplish your research aims. But you do want to watch for overdoing it. Your letters of support, support should be relevant to your research aims. It's important to keep, the, keep them focused on executing the project so that the reviewers don't become overwhelmed. If you do have letters from a consultant, they should not list effort, only a rate per day. And you and colleagues at U of M cannot be paid consultants, only effort. Thank you for watching this video. For additional tools and resources, please see our website under the Training and Resources section or by reaching out through email at msgrants at umich.edu.